Hello, everybody. January. It's January. It's January. I wonder if that's the next, like. I wonder if that's going to be the next big evolution in the English language. January will simply become January. Hello, I'm Bryce Castillo, your great room, green room, pre show navigator. Hello. Gonna navigate you through these wonderful uh, last weeks of January. Uh, we'll come back after the great room with a little bit of birthday borner. We got uh, a little bit of F1. We're making our way through. Uh, Chris sent us a, a very uh, a prediction based game. So we'll work through one of the predictions on that. Uh, we got a good show for you coming up tonight. Coming up tonight. We got some stories. We're going to unbox some stuff. We're going to talk about Brad Pitt t tangentially. <laughs> Um, Justin, Justin ran home, Justin ran home and only just got back, which I'm sure, uh, it might be a little flustering. So we're going to give them just a minute here. Um, Cliff Singer's right. We took the RU out of February, Feb, February. And see, I always try to put the extra emphasis on that first RU, February, so that I like, I'm doing it right. I don't know. I won't die. Is that virtue signaling? Is that what? I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, but uh, uh, but yeah, so I think he just got back and Brian's in there. Brett's around. I think EK is even in here. Um, and uh, we got our crew and all sorts of stuff. So that's coming up. And then a game. We've got a game coming up. Game's going to be fun because I'm going to be playing. That's right. I'll also be playing uh, our game tonight. So that'll be fun. Yeah, that's right. Justin concocted a game and we're going to play it with him in a little bit. But first, that I didn't love we're going to take it I over to the green them, room. Reasons. Right. Yeah, Hello yeah. to the green room. Green room, can they, you hear me? Hello. Ahoy. Hello. I'll join you in just a minute. In just a minute. You Hell yeah. We're here, in the, we're here in the green room. Brian, Justin, Brett, and Corey. Hey. Corey's joining hey, us. Hey, Corey. Welcome to a new segment. Walkie talkie talk. Walkie talkie talk. You have walkie talkies. These are awesome. Uh... Oh. Checking one, two, check one, two, three. It's not working. I hear you loud and clear over. Oh, wait. Oh, it's in your Delta ear. Delta Echo Foxtrot. What's up? Yep. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? Is this like, like a I bit? Just no, like we right just there. we just bought how many of these did we buy? Uh, we bought we bought six of these. And I'm very excited because I did a fair amount of research trying to find the ones that were affordable, affordable, but also would work because we're, the idea was to use these for the upcoming event, which are is a quarter of a mile away through trees, maybe even further than a quarter of a mile away through plus, trees. Plus, we do we do a considerable hill. number of shoots yes. that uh, – and, and uh, I'm not going to say – This is production equipment. Uh, I'm not going to yes. say which co-host of the Modern Rogue has a shitty cell phone service provider whose yep. name is Jason Murphy. Yep. But, uh, uh, but sometimes we can't even call each other from across the seven acres, whereas this is just straight up like real production yeah. pros. And we actually tested these today. I actually went up to the VFW and uh, – what click, click you, you want? You so want to click the, the chat? Oh, you want to yeah. see the chat? Oh, yeah. What are you? What are you a baby? Are you a fan? I'm are a you baby. A fan? Are you a fan of the show? <laughs> a, Do you need their validation? Is that what's going on? I just want to see the people say hi. That's... Hi, everybody! Hi. Everybody, say something nice about Brett. What's hi. up? I, Thank you, I like. TV. I like how friendly he is. Yes. I like that that he brought Ek with him today. Can, yeah. we, get, oh! can we get to the end of the walkie talkies, please? Hello. Okay. Yes. No, no, no. I didn't know. No, I, to, yeah. to what you guys were saying. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, actually, <laughs> I'm curious to where we're going with the walkie talkies. <laughs> oh, uh, it was, uh, it was a surprise to me, uh, when I walked into the room, yeah, 10 minutes ago to yeah. see a whole bunch of pro grade walkie talkies. Walkie -talkies. Uh, and, uh, and I got very excited because I, kn I, I instantly knew what they were for. They were probably priced appropriately, and uh, I, I asked Corey about him, and he has yet to tell me anything, but I saw the light in his eyes brighten, and so I want to hear about how good they are. Yes, they are. We've actually already tested them today, so I went up way across the hill, through the trees, through the hills, and uh, uh, Annalisa was here in the office sitting at the desk 
crystal clear. Inside Perfect. of the structure. Yes, inside the structure. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool. And so they actually sounded super good. Uh, now we got a great deal on them. I think we got six of them for a hundred and hundred and something dollars. Fantastic. So uh, a piece? No. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, really? Yeah. Holy yeah, shit! Like that is fucking stealing. Yeah. Right. One hundred and forty dollars or something. I mean, that's perfect so. for when you're driving in the car and yeah. you want to talk to each other in different cars if you're doing a caravan. Right. And you. And they came with earpieces, which I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, that's might, like some pro. It, we might. I haven't talked to Bryce too much about it, but we were kind of talking about using these actually during uh, Great Night. Oh, yeah. right. To, that, because to every once in a while, shots. Yeah. Yeah. Every once yeah. while, Bryce is like throwing stuff at us and <laughs> get, <laughs> yelling with to his get eyes. Like, it's like, look, I'm watching the show too. They're not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> all, I, all, I, all I see is big eyes trying to look around the mirror like, move the camera. <laughs> get the shot. What are you doing? We need to and figure out. Like, get the get which one minute. Yeah. Uh, and you're like, oh, we need to figure just... out like a SWAT, a hand signal thing. Yeah. The other day with Annalisa, I, I was trying to tell her like set up a two shot. Yeah. And <laughs> we didn't have any code worked out, so I was like, Annalisa, Annalisa, two head. <laughs> so, so, yeah, she was, she was like, what? fuck me in the face? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Why? That's not, not appropriate. <laughs> British <laughs> fuck me in the face? <laughs> of course. It, uh, and it, 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 it did, that, did, that did not communicate the message to you. Yeah. Accurate, correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. correct. She's come in to do an interpretive dance and then make her way out. <laughs> She's not here <laughs> to talk about the past. Give her a walkie-talkie. She'll yeah. talk to us. Uh, That'll be good. I'm super stoked man yeah yeah so much uh, and, and these are all the rechargeable things and and yeah. so mm -hmm. i guess i guess we can lead into uh like Uh, Founders Day is happening. Uh, I, I got a few emails. I'm sorry I haven't responded to people who have written, but but May, but, but I have them. April, April. Uh, as, uh, April. It's always going to be as close April to 9th. April 9th. Uh, I think it'll be literally April, April 9th, 9th to this, this time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, but but of course we're leading up to the eclipse uh, on April 9th, 2024, when we will all drink uh, a special beverage and uh, commence the Great Ascension. Cool. cool. I'm making yeah, light of mass suicide. Yeah, yeah. We need to hyperbolize that a little bit. That's a little reference. That's yeah. a reference that's that's to a big thing suicide. that happened are a while gonna, ago. <laughs> and then it happened again. Are we going to all race to rename ourselves Jim Jones? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I guess let's that just that say is, that there'll be a carousel. There, there and we'll renew. There hasn't been a mass suicide for the new generation. Jeez. There hasn't been like you a know, Zoomer. Pepsi, are we Pepsi needs to get on that. Well, no, yeah, because Jim Jones is for a certain demo, right? And then you had Heaven's Gate for, for Jim another Jones demo. Jim Jones was your dad's Oldsmobile. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and then Heaven's Gate was the cool one, but even that's old. Like, that's yeah, got that's the Netflix too, treatment. Man. Like, so now, yeah, <laughs> Zoomers, the get on your shit. God damn it. It's the knock, they, like, they've decentralized suicide cults. It's the knockout game. It's a, is that it? I, no. 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 Is that, is that, is that the web three of suicide <laughs> cults? It's the knockout game. <laughs> suicide I feel like, step your shit up. Uh, Kill yourself together <laughs> for our cultural touchstone. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe like a virtual su mass suicide where it's like everyone takes a pact and they press a button and then all of your socials get deleted at once. Oh, I've got a joke and I can't say it. Why not? Because it's just too bad. That's what? why. Oh, it, well, say it in a higher pitch. Say, right. say it like it's a even, question. It's, it doesn't count. If say, you it say it in an up talk. Pitch. <laughs> if, you say if you say it, it, if you say it like phrase Mickey it Mouse, like somebody else said it, and yeah. you're just reporting Stutter it. As like, what? This is why you don't tell them you're not going to tell them something. I heard a friend say yeah. to me. He <laughs> said, you're crushing he said, it. He maybe, said, maybe the last three or two years was yeah. the, the suicide cult that we've been watching happen. Oh. My brother drank himself to death. Go, 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 go. What the fuck, Justin, dude? Justin, did you see the Italian Senate last week? What the fuck, man? Uh, we're trying to do a comedy show here. The uh, You're talking about all sorts of serious... <laughs> Stuff, I love man. that you just told trying me. to just do a. We're trying to do a comedy <laughs> show. God said it was Jesus <laughs> Christ! Fucking, you know how you're about to get stabbed? <laughs> is the last thing you'll hear is Justin and I telling you it's safe. No, it's okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, uh, oh no, wait, I, I am going to save this for the A block. Omicron. 
Uh, no. Speaking Wait, of that, speaking of, oh, sp- actually, oh. touch back on yesterday's uh, weird things. The exact thing I was trying to talk about, uh, there was a New York Times article about where I was like, hey, man, isn't this zero COVID, to- zero tolerance policy in China going to be a problem when they eventually do get the COVID? And then uh, and uh, mm. the consensus was, well, Australia had only 3,000 no, deaths I mean, and we had 800,000. Uh, it's, cool. it's super cool, man. Like, it's a cool policy that China does. Only 6,000 people have died. Uh, okay. A billion population and a weaker vaccine. Only 6,000 people yeah. died. Okay. But that's but, a thing that was in the New York Times thing that you sent to us. According to the World Health Organization, only 6,000. That's a sh- That's wow. The, those wow. are some might call those numbers. Unbelievable! <laughs> Achi machi, man. But, any place else, that that's would go. crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm that doubtful. Mm. But, but it's an the, amazing. But thing. The, the, the point of the article is basically saying that they've primed themselves for like, woo, when that dam breaks, uh, that's going to be some trouble. <laughs> when that dam breaks, I'm sure we'll know about it. <laughs> I'm sure. And I'm then sure it'll be wiped. Everybody will know exactly what happened. Name one time a dam has ever broken. And China, and there's Never. been consequences. Just like the Russians in the space race. Was it, was it, was no it, was, was it the Yangtze? What was the massive, and a lot of people died? And... No, I don't know. I'm mm. not trying to get on a list by Winnie the Pooh. They're, I don't know. They're gonna, whatever. whatever he says. I, I just don't want to get banned from Hearthstone. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, Microsoft. Now yeah, they are. Micro- <laughs> so excited. Yeah. <laughs> It's safe, man. They don't need that 10 cent money anymore. <laughs> They're like, fucking, we got Nadella bucks, baby. Yeah. They got a lot of bucks. Yeah. No, yeah. Now they can now they can just be fucking the new the new Hearthstone expansion. Hong Kong is an independent nation. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray Taiwan, the new paladin <laughs> class. <A> de- <laughs> Hooray Taiwan, a definitely independent nation. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the new hello emote for Shaman. <laughs> Free Hong Kong. <laughs> Hooray. I am glad that Taiwan is independent. <laughs> Nah, they're good. Bill now. Gates can dance. Exactly. Yeah, no, it'll be like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, get vaccinated. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever Microsoft does now. Hey, I got a question about this fucking town. Yeah? Which town? This town we all this, live in. Uh, Austin, Austin, New York, Texas. New York. Oh. Austin? I wouldn't know the filthy motherfucker. We're outside of Austin. We are indeed. We are technically. Legally. Hey, you know what? I'm but in it, Austin. It counts. Ask your question. So. I like to walk around a lot. When I walk around, I like to buy things from uh, gas stations and convenience stores. Sure. People with trench coats. During dry January, I don't buy beer, which is normally what I buy, and I buy other things. And sometimes I get a hankering for an Arizona iced tea. Sure. Okay. There are always three different variants of Arizona iced tea. Yeah. Delta 8. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Select Spectrum Delta Nine yeah, yeah. and CDK so, and, and Hulk it's Smash. CDK. Yeah, but there's never original Arizona iced tea. There's always like three other variants. The next time you're in a gas station, yeah, go look and see whether or not you see an a, like a I, I, regular I, ass Arizona iced tea. Probably not. I'm probably not going to do that, but yeah. uh, I'll, I'll probably sure. get a beer. I was gonna. T- Accept the premise, but you just threw that shit away. That's what? our improv style. It's not yes and. It's oh, no, no fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, where you at on guns? Uh, I I like to locate them personally. <laughs> yeah. So I always like to know exactly where they. I like are. to right. know Wh- which re- is a bigger problem for you: finding, uh, uh, bu- uh, acquiring guns, or losing guns. <laughs> I thought this was on the topic. I thought this was on the list of things we can't, we can't talk, talk about. about. Yeah, yeah, this is this is in the pre-show though. I mean, <laughs> pre-show doesn't count. Yeah. Right, okay, right, right, you know, like the the pre in so pre-show you know. stands for prepper. <laughs> Remember, this is a one key operation that you're doing, and you yeah. have the key. Yeah, I was gonna say. Really, it's just that they just hold on, the next one comes right up. It's, no, uh, you, you just want me to start playing episode four? Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> just playing right into the mic. <laughs> it's uh, 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 yeah. Anyway, there was a brief moment that it's like I thought no, you know. No, give me, give me, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. run this back because I don't actually know the story. All I know is that Brian came in and said, "Fuck, guys, 
can't tell this story. I can't talk about my gun. I can't talk about my story. I can't. I won't talk about it. Can't, won't, can't, don't. Don't ask me, don't tell. Not me, no gun story. Don't press me on this. Don't press me. I'm like Fort Knox, and the gun story's the gold. And I locked it, and I swallowed the key, which is really weird to do both. And we are in 18 minutes into the pre-show, and he's like, I got a gun story for you boys. I'm guessing y'all didn't get the multiple phone calls of panicky during the day. No. It would be awesome. It it was only one. Set it up. And it was fairly casual. Set it up. Uh, Hold on, wait. I'm going to do a a, a theme song. (laughs) Brian's got a gun. (laughs) Or does he? (laughs) Go. You don't know. (laughs) So uh, uh, we definitely have a gun safe, right? Oh, my God. The contents of the gun safe normally include Guns. Guns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in my in, in my panic to find the notes for uh, an upcoming podcast that I wanted to make sure I got my facts right on, yep. I couldn't find the the notes anywhere in the closet. I was like, would I have put them in the gun safe for some reason? And I opened and looked. I'm like, nope, they're not the way, there. These are notes from college. <laughs> yes. Why would I keep my college be, notes that, in the gun safe? Because, because I know proof. that's where important shit goes. Yeah. Important shit goes Is in the gun safe. Is it a big gun safe? Yes. A lot of people you my passports. Can you get inside that? Some gun Arizona safe? iced tea? Sure. No, yeah. <laughs> There's a fucking home invasion. Brian's <laughs> scrambling to the gun safe, and he just takes one look down and to fire him up, he's like, that should have gotten A. Click, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clack. <laughs> Well, it was after it was only afterwards I was like, I didn't see one of the weapons that I thought was in there. And and so I sit on it for a day and then finally out of I I, I just didn't know I was like, "Hey, sweetie, did isn't isn't there a a, a, a certain weapon that should be in there?" And she's like, "Well, I don't yeah, did you take it? Like seems like something you would have taken." And I was like, "I I I didn't. Uh, did you take it? And, then, and so what? The, what this leads to is a cascade of increasingly less lethal things that we also don't know where they are, including the the salt gun, which is basically a paintball gun yeah. with with a pepper spray. Right. And then below that, <laughs> eventually it gets to where's my Red Rider BB gun? <laughs> So you guys are itemizing. Like, <laughs> you're itemizing firearms that you don't know where they are. That's correct. One of them is an actual working <laughs> gun that shoots bullets. Yes, yes. Gotcha. Uh, 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 and uh, one uh, of them is seen on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Uh, well, uh, uh, the, 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 Interesting. The, wild. It, it turns out that the actual <laughs> weapon uh, was a conflated memory I had. Uh, yeah. uh, I remember her dad gifting it to us. What I don't remember is that it was at his place and he said, you want to take it home with you? And we're like, it's Christmas and the kids are here. We'll, we'll get it sometime. And then we just never got it. Gotcha. So that's why it that's wasn't why there. There was a uh, loose gun, but then it caused uh-uh. this whole, like neither of us can remember where the salt gun is or the BB gun or my airsoft tire og or any of that stuff. So uh, anyway, guns, man. Wow. For the most up to date, information on this check out the wanted poster on the telephone pole outside <laughs> have, have you seen shooty <laughs> call 555 five, five, help shooty. response to glock and the piece. have you seen click clack <laughs> my side arm. anyway that's uh but but uh part of the reason that i said during the production meeting that i i, I, I didn't want to make it part of the show is because obviously guns are kind of a device of polarizing issue no. uh and and yeah. And Everyone loves them, uh, but but Texas, well, in a story about not being able to find one. I haven't noticed yeah. that. I haven't noticed that in our comment section at all. Oh, <laughs> people! No, people universally love guns. They just think that they're they love the way them. we handle them. Yeah. they love the way we use them. They, do they love, love the way as much as they love talking about it. <laughs> well, when someone is on meth and breaks into your house, yeah. mm. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that was my favorite. Uh, that's always the excuse that we get. But but yeah. uh, but here's the real oh, question: is that it because is. you guys had the salt? gun yes. or whatever and you're yes. like hey for 80 percent of what you would need a gun for this is a this highly is effective like, this solution would be a highly yes. effective thing that and, and, the- and, and, and predictably people yeah. are like the 20 percent though right the 20 percent what if like, they're on literally meth? didn't say it would do that but no. like yeah okay well also that 20 percent 
So maybe you should buy another gun. <laughs> maybe you should buy more guns. Well, so what this brought up that I thought was rather interesting is being on the fringe of a blue city in a red state, there's this sort of dance, uh, especially with all these Californians showing up. Yep. You kind of have to ask, like, well, 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 what do you think of so guns? What do you think about guns? <laughs> What if I, what if, what if, what if you know somebody who is me can't find a bunch of his? <laughs> <laughs> you know, here in Texas, when there's an anime convention and they're a Japanese guest, you know what's the first thing they do? Go to the gun range. Oh, I bet they immediately. We went to the gun range. Like, okay, let's go. I'm not me. I'm kind of like, bye. Yeah. That that was one of weirdly uh, uh my proudest moments was uh it was at a naca convention and uh, uh my friend norman ing uh, uh who uh, he uh, does the the sport you know the fast pop, 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 all that mm -hmm. shit uh, he's like uh, hey you want to shoot guns I'm like yeah and nick Staniforth is like yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, pete bois I'm like yeah and so we show up and it's like well we don't have guns and they're like yeah they always have guns we, uh, we'll rent one or something and uh and so we show up and you could tell this guy you know st louis he's just like four clowns from out of town like, yeah all right and he you could tell he's got this prepared 15 minute thing like uh you look at the target wrong you're out you 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 you, you fart while you shoot you're out you're you out. know yeah, yeah. You, you make a joke about a marvel universe that involves a dc character you're out you know and uh 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 it, it, he's he's like you only go to the yellow line and so we uh, uh fire you know we all take turns and we're all magicians, so we're no slouches about, you know, body posture and stuff. And there's that moment when all of a sudden the loudspeaker comes on and he's, he's like, uh, you four. And, and, and we're all like, yeah. He's like, you can move the target back. That's some fine shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say, did you see that envelope back there on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me like, clearly was, say. Was that there the entire oh, time uh, or not? Uh, uh, I want you to pull the target up. Keep that target in view at all times. Yeah, I, I want you to open up the envelope. Hold this up. Next. <laughs> shot for shot. <laughs> it's me, the, the gun shop owning <laughs> mentalist. <laughs> Didn't think those were still around, did you? Now watch uh, me can catch we talk a bullet about in my teeth. Maybe we're doing a thing. Or is that too that, early? That, that actually is one of my segments in the A block. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, that's the All punchline right. for it. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I have to correct an injustice from last week. Okay, uh -oh. go ahead. Right. Uh, we did not get to talk about it during the stream. Yeah. But we did talk about it afterwards. What's that? The Italian Senate. Oh my God! I mean, yeah. the, the what? Yeah. So the Italians they got a Senate now, and uh, <laughs> yeah, they they it. have a, a because of uh, fucking Brett's favorite subject, the pandemic. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Really. Oh, uh, okay, I'm on board yeah. now. Yeah, uh, tell uh, me more they've about had it. to do their meetings <laughs> over Zoom. And oh, now I know what we're yeah. talking about. Okay, and, uh, <laughs> so uh, boy, these boy, these Italians were were governing. And you you want to hand it off? I yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. Well, I mean, because I mean, you, you had know, so good, I didn't want to interrupt. No, your no. Rhythm. So there was here. I'll th I'll throw to you. Uh, <laughs> there was there was a moment in which all of a sudden it was not the Italian senators, but rather another image went full screen. Mm -hmm. Bryce, what was it? Uh, that's where you're gonna throw it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it was. Uh, uh, it was over a minute of computer generated imagery of Tiffa from Final Fantasy uh, being. Getting it. Getting it. Getting, it. Getting, getting it. getting it. Yeah. Audio getting it. Like, I'll say the Foley work on that stuff is <laughs> pretty good. They know what they're doing there. Yeah. Somebody somebody dipped their hands in soft soap and clapped a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've been, I've been, but in the past Side week, gig. all of the yeah. jokes have been like drawing Tiffa with like a Mario mustache. Yeah. <laughs> She's like the new symbol of Italy. Like oh, her wearing yeah, the mother. flag, yeah. the Italian flag and fantastic. Uh, that's amazing. But so, I wanted to I wanted to make it a part of the stream like in the after show or something. Just randomly just, cut just, to, we just cut show to the pornography. And, we're just at, watching uh, Tifa getting plowed. We, we, no, we would do like over. what are Brian and Justin watching and uh, only you would see it. Yeah. yeah. Which which we've done which we did before with those um those figurines. Oh yeah. From before. Oh yeah. We would have yeah. we would have not shown full penetrative Poor porn penetrative on Twitch. Oh yeah, yeah. we can't do that. We kind of don't. I don't know. Like that's what people do now on Twitch and they get banned and then they complain about it that's like a new thing hmm. just watch fucking yeah uh, 20 uh, minutes in I, i'm gonna say something yeah <laughs> uh i maybe, mean you maybe know. that would get us attention 
Maybe we'd be but, uh, I mean, if we did an entire, if we put an entire film on the st- the stream, I wonder. Is is there yeah. a, is there a uh, you you anybody in this room probably knows the TOS of Twitch better than I do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is highly descriptive uh, narration of sexual acts a violation of TOS? No. Yeah, I don't. I would. I would you know, I never thought I would be talking this way on Twitch. But one day I was driving my 18-wheeler down the road. <laughs> and then I saw these two wow. chicks on the side of the road. And they, they had their thumbs out. And I wasn't going to stop. Oh, they missed her. <laughs> hey, hey, why don't you all well, over? Yeah, we were looking for a good size. <laughs> but then they pulled open their trench coats to reveal <laughs> feathers and full breasts, and I realized they were harpies. Now, normally I would never truck with such, <laughs> but by a lucky roll of the dice, I decided to go on an adventure. <laughs> okay, I've got to turn, turning it into okay, D&D. No, go never further. Go, get to the go, go ahead. Part. Okay, all right. So then they asked me a riddle. Lovely plumage. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> they said, they said... <laughs> That's in the race. <laughs> they, they said, I got a riddle for you, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> what is for I'll bet you, I'll bet you no one can't puzzle through this one. <laughs> one said, man always tells a lie. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who can cock. None have ever figured out our ancient riddle now. Are you all right? I always got four dinks in the morning. <laughs> Two, Two dicks, dicks in the afternoon night. and three dicks at night. I don't think the doctor's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other one. <laughs> if you're getting horny, please post a one. Yeah. <laughs> please you're post a horny, picture of your erect dick on Twitter. <laughs> at Great Night Live. If yeah. you're getting horny, call at POTUS. 1-800. <laughs> at POTUS. <laughs> at POTUS, at Pontiflex, at yeah. Mark Cuban. Yeah. If, you're, if you're getting ordered, please and then ask, ask, reply and then, to the President and then of the United act, States. And then, ask right for your free, and then ask for your free PS5. <laughs> <laughs> what list do you think we would get on if we all tweeted to the President of the United States that we were horny? <laughs> and it became a trend. <clears throat> it might be the most... I don't want to talk politics, unlike some people. (laughs) (laughs) Old Brett over here. So the pandemic, right? How many harpies did you pick up today? (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him on BET Comic (laughs) View with Conan O'Brien. It's the pandemic comedian, Brett Weaver. Hey. So anyway, I'm losing all my guns, and I'm fucking these (laughs) harpies. (laughs) And I wasn't wearing a mask. <laughs> Where'd your gun? <laughs> oh kind of of is that up. your catchphrase? Yeah. Where's your gun? <laughs> <laughs> this fool was covering three parking spots. I said, Where's your gun? <laughs> yeah, we're down at the fishing hole. Next thing you know, your mom comes in with two pies saying, Where's, Where's your, your gun? gun? I'm, I'm pretty sure I fucking this. sold out Staples Center <laughs> <laughs> four nights in a row. Fucking and massive. I'm, I'm out here trying to play Hearthstone, and she's asking, seriously, where are the unaccounted firearms? <laughs> <laughs> you ever woken up at 11:30 when your wife comes in and asks her in a very serious manner, "Hey, Brian Brushwood, where are your guns?" And then you turn and you say. <laughs> Baby, don't worry Fucking about it. Twenty thousand dollars in merch <laughs> that <laughs> night. <laughs> celebrating that <Wow>. night. <laughs> I told her later that <laughs> night. I just got six walkie-talkies. <laughs> you tell her. You tell her six walkie. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I'm I played so... this exact level in Borderlands. The other day. <laughs> That's right. Like, if you ever play Borderlands, you know this story. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Look, dude, this world, fuck it. I mean, like, what's going on? What's going on? Right? I think we can all agree. There's something fucking going on with this shit. Yeah. Right? What do you yeah, think, Yeah, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 
Tell us what it's all about, Brian. What the fuck's going on, huh? Come I mean, on, Brian. Brian. Oh, well, for the, for the no. in-depth analysis, Brian Brushwood. Yeah. Brian Brushwood, everyone. Come on, yeah. man. Corey, while he's waiting, what do you think? What do you got? <laughs> well, I think crypto is terrible right now. <laughs> good, yeah. good, good, time well, good, good time to buy. Good time to buy. You can also think about mic. talking into your mic. I mean, I know you don't know how to do this very Obviously. well. You know? I know this is oh. easy to you, so... Crypto winter. Is it happening? Or it's, is it just a crypto autumn? Uh it's definitely it's definitely a cold outside in the crypto world. And yeah. I think I think we will be in cold, some hard, hard cash. Nips. Hard nips in the so, crypto yeah, world. Some think, diamond nips. Do you have a cold hard would, sorry, just, do would, you also have a cold hard wordplay, Brett? Just uh no. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, I definitely time? sold out of more than 30, 40 percent of my positions. So uh, you 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 don't think that you're just yeah you want to know what I feel very uncomfortable and so I took profits on lots of things over the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. yeah. oh got it uh, and so I wish obviously I would have took profits when things were higher but I've still who fucked it up did, yo, who yo, fucked it up give me one name Elon uh, one was it, person was it, was it Elon uh, was it Elon running around with Ted his crypto. big old fucking head and his Al? dumb fucking child's name <laughs> uh, the the head of the Fed. Oh, head of the bed? It? Yeah, yeah. Um, On well, a platter. Kind of, they, they kind of they they set us up to have a bunch of success with a bunch of money printing. Yeah. And then now they came out and said, "Hey, oh, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna stop all that yeah. money yeah. printing, and we're going to uh, inflation's going to go crazy, and we're going to raise interest rates." You know, I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people don't bring up the hard topic of uh, the losers when inflation is stopped in its tracks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we <laughs> we need to. <laughs> Increase inflation to help them out. Yes, yeah. for crypto. Yeah, yeah. do it for crypto. Yeah, do sure. it for the dough. Doge. Do it for the toe. I guess the toe. The yeah. toe. They, they crypto. The crypto. 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 The toe. Yeah. Do it for the toe. Do it for Should the be dough. dough though. <laughs> Those harpies but were crypto. We, 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 there's still time. We can make crypto. Crypto. We can yeah. just do crypto. And we gonna get in trouble with? Are we gonna get in trouble with the crypts? So oh, that's or right. Pils or Pillsbury. <laughs> so how long? Oh, how dumb. long? Yeah. Uh, somebody who's generally bullish on crypto. Yes. How long do you intend to sit on the sidelines? Uh, yeah. Roughly, my guess is probably somewhere around three to six months. We're not going to see uh, all-time highs again. Yeah. So I think we are in a bear trend. So if you look at stock market, stock market is usually if you fall more than about five percent, then you are starting to be in a bear market. Right. Crypto is more of like 50 percent right <laughs> because it's bad. because it's so volatile so volatile yeah. Up and, yeah. down. and so we've definitely fallen that much so we are definitely in a bear trend now if we're in a, what's called a bear market a traditional bitcoin bear market right i don't think we are the way the cycles bitcoin goes through four-year cycles this one has been extending out further each time it extends out further this one is still on schedule to be extended out further so that could push us later into 2022 maybe into 23 before we see all-time highs again so what are we going to do over this next three to six months like sure things could go crazy because uh, there is only about uh, 1.4 million I've never Bitcoin. wanted to full screen porn <laughs> More. The Italian the Senate. I I no, right what's, what's funny is like I'm I resisting really the urge do. to explain the difference between fundamentals yes. and technical investing at this point. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, I think where are your guns? A... Where are your guns at? <laughs> Instead, here I'll just hold on. You just keep going. All right, All right. Yeah. go ahead. So, Bitcoin four-year cycles. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Bitcoin, four, Bitcoin four-year cycles. I think we will have a three to six mm. month sideways trend maybe a little bit down but there's only 1.4 roughly uh million bitcoin available there's 55 million millionaires so if any time people decide they want one All there's right, not enough hurt. supply of bitcoin to go around gotcha thank you ladies and gentlemen Corey, uh crypto <laughs> man for a crypto, crypto age <laughs> bear market uh, uh, the bull, a bull bear market. Bear market. <laughs> That's what I say. It's hey, you want to know what? It's Everybody, be a hard market. That's hard, right. rock solid. Yes. Very <laughs> tumescent. Eventually, turgid. Turgid. It's be turgid. Yeah, turge coin. I saw a thing because you know there's like a thing where uh, they're they're it's the hardest currency. They're they're they're, they're defeminizing the M and M's. Uh, you heard this? Yeah. They're yeah. They're desexifying the green M and M. Yeah. They're giving her chucks. 
They're making her get a degree of women's studies. Well, no, I mean it, the, uh, Wesleyan. The, there was an ad that strongly implied that she was married to the brown M and M. But not anymore. Wait, now they're that was both, like last week. Now they're both androgynous, and they're in a polycule. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I believe you. I 100% I don't believe know. you. I don't even know what the fuck I, this I is. Don't even All I know is that there was a, uh, a tweet that said, like, first they desexualize the M&Ms, the next thing you know, they're going to take the dick vein off the Snickers. Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> it really makes it. It really makes it. I saw, I saw, I saw so that Shout out joke. to me stealing that joke. <laughs> I saw that same joke. It's, it's Tucker Carlson and the Chiron is cancel culture claims Snickers penis vein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking wait, green M and M's make you horny? Is that the thing? That, that was, was the, what uh, that was, was that was the, the urban time. legend yes. back before uh, we had things like Snopes to ruin all of the ghost Thanks, stories. Snopes. Wait, the the pe- people actually thought the green M M&M and M made you made horny. You horny. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then and then M and M's later in the late nineties, as they introduced the CG characters, uh, they finally introduced the, the green first M&M. female M M&M and M was the green M M&M, and M and, and, and all the and, other guys were thirsty. And it said and it, it said on there, funny. what is it about the green ones? Yeah. Wink. Mm. So they played off the urban yeah. legend because yeah. they because you want to fuck them. Very <laughs> yeah. low from insurance. So instead of it. Making you horny and want to fuck, you wanted to well, fuck, fuck the M M&M. M. Yep. Yeah. Just get your dick all up in I, that chocolate. Hi, <laughs> <Thank you>, Corey. <laughs> Bye, Corey. <laughs> it's a bear market for fucking chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Barely legal. <laughs> So anyway, these two harpies are asking me this riddle. Oi! 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 Oh, three, it's three of us now because the accent's too fun to do. <laughs> and it will roll away now. All right, ladies, calm down. And it will roll away. We got a rooster's on a roof laying an egg. <laughs> Which got, side will it lay on? We gotta keep on going all the way to New <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 20. sorry, I think I misunderstood what an RP was. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies. Why does this one have a top hat on? <laughs> with curly hair and looking, it doesn't say very much. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's a Harpo. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. God damn it. God damn it. William Frawley. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a British beer that's not a Guinness or a Pass. <laughs> you know, Harpo is Oprah backwards. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're not even the protagonist anymore. <laughs> You're supposed to be driving the sexual energy of this clip. <laughs> We heard him. Oh, we it heard him. Out. It's this so is good. this is the thing with you. There is Brian has a fucking self-control inability <laughs> when somebody is doing a funny voice to not immediately start doing the funny voice. <laughs> True story. Uh, <laughs> True story, <laughs> Governor. <laughs> True story. We, we had Andrew Heaton over to play Dungeons and Dragons with us, mm. and he did a better character than I did, so I started copying his. <laughs> <laughs> Is your character a mimic? I mean, that uh, would make sense. Uh, he's a bard, yeah. Okay, uh, there but, you go. Uh, but 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 Andrew Heaton came with the heat. He was like, uh, he was like, yeah, I'm a bard too. I'm a half man, half donkey. I'm a donktar. <laughs> donktar. And, and and I go on about how he's non-union, and then immediately both of us became the same character, <laughs> trying to outdo each other. That's that's a that's a fun way to say you started doing his character. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 got into competition. Uh, I won. If we started doing the same character is yeah you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim, Jim plays out Admiral we, we, Nelson. We had we had, we had a merger. We had a merger of characters. <laughs> hey, look, he was a scab. He showed up in the middle of my fucking show, <laughs> my venue, my rules. Get bent. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Andrew D and D dice clay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That was a really good one, Governor. <laughs> now it's you're not like driving a... the truck. <laughs> Andrew, D, Andrew D20 Clay doesn't is not right either. Yeah, I mean, you had to figure out the grammar on that. 
Mm. We'll work on it. Yeah. Throw it in the shop, fam. Is that something? Put it in the shop. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna bang out the dents. Put it over there next to all the guns and the walkie talkies. <laughs> walkie talkie, walkie talkie. You're gonna get all the, all the British lady you missed. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's gotta get it. I, I, I held out for too long. I'm gonna get every fucking syllable. Right, I may be uh, late to the minutes. buffet, yep. but I'm going to lick the Thank dish. You, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! By the way, uh, I, I we, the, a, a discovery was made. Uh, uh, although it probably was a discovery by people. It's probably that fake. Are, that are smart. Uh, but we're gonna be out there for Scoop Fest. Yeah. Which I think you know, if it doesn't sound like Omicron would have stopped it, so I I don't like you know pending some other crazy variant. It looks like it's definitely gonna happen in Vegas. What I didn't know is that is the exact same weekend. Of TMS Vegas. Oh, really? Yes. So the Frog Pants people are going to be in town. The Will Frog Harris is going to be in Vegas. Scoop Fest is going to be happening. It is uh, uh, the NFL draft is happening. Like, it is going to be a shit Nuts. show in Vegas. Spread yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, get your, get your COVID now. Because you're gonna you're gonna no, want to catch them all out of the way. You're gonna want to spread it. Yeah, <laughs> get really. Make, make, yeah. No, know. I want to. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna really put my my pervious to COVID <laughs> fucking shit to, to the, the test. test. Yeah. Um. Oh, the, thing, the team is Vegas weekend is moving due to the draft. I literally texted Scott about it this fucking weekend. Well, you're two days late. Um. Oh shit! Also, I did promise. Speaking of frog pants, I did promise Brian Ibbett, uh, America's Next Top Podcaster dot com. It's a reality competition uh, where you try to be a podcast, and uh, uh, the last winner, Will yep. Saddleberg, yep, not only has done his own podcast uh, with us, the Dog and Pony Show Audio, that'll be released this year, but also wrote and edited uh, two, I think, of the best episodes. Of uh, this upcoming season of World's Greatest Con. If you want that opportunity, the winner this season, just like Will did, is going to get to make their own show with Dog and Pony Show Audio. Uh, go to America's Next, Next Top Podcaster.com. Hells yeah. Um, so Justin texting Scott is what probably got him to think about it. All right. I'm going to call him <laughs> right now. I, I was fucking so excited about seeing everybody. Uh, I don't know why. He would want to move it if he had already planned on that being the case. And why would you move it like Go two live before? on the speakerphone? Uh, no, he won't answer the phone. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. No. You can hang up on him <laughs> with that's your nose. Fun. You know that's always funny. It's always funny. Uh, no, I can't. Well, because I don't, I don't really have a phone call relationship with Scott. Okay, well, I have a mostly text relationship yeah, with Scott. I'll call him. Uh, well, I just all right. Yeah, you want to call? Yeah, him? yeah, yeah. Call. I'll call. Him. Oh boy, call this him. is always great. He's not going to pick up. It's always yeah, great podcasting really? when you get on the phone. Yeah, TMS yeah, is yeah. moving because hotel prices got jacked. Too up. damn high. What the fuck? It's been announced forever. Miss Larry read something about the variant being looked at. Oh my god. Well, yeah, we got another. Var There's a, another one already. What? Coming around, I don't know. Omicron too. She'll be coming around the mountain. <clears throat> Thetan. I always call it the Thetan. One. The Thetan. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it like Theta? Yeah. Theta. The, 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 Teresa. Omicron theta. Theta is. A... Um. All right. Here this we'll see chance. whether or not this will Scott chance. Johnson pick up for Brian Brushwood. Yeah. Hold on. Call has been forwarded. Oh, oh okay. fuck you! Yeah. Fucking told you, man. That man didn't yeah. answer phones. Yeah. No, I may don't answer no phones. Also, I just texted him, so he probably knows. <laughs> that this is, that he's like, oh, he's like, like, hold like, on, these, these fucking assholes. Uh, uh, well, that sucks. Well, here goes my fucking news, man. I thought we were gonna see everybody in one thing, and I, I wanted to broker a a summit of TMS plus Great Night plus 
Ice Cream Social. That would oh, have been uh, 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 like a trade agreement. A trip. Yeah. Wait, wait, when you like, say like, broker like, a like, summit, I'm like, 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 are, like are, are, we, are we all we about to war? go to war? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> like we got don't, nukes don't, pointed at each other. Mexican standoff. Don't speak too. Don't speak too loud. <laughs> like, oh shit. We may, may or may not be on our way to war. Uh -oh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. Ice Cream Social. Yeah. We should uh, we should throw over to uh, Bryce. Yeah, to uh, Bryce. Are you there? I'm here. HQ. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're what, ten more minutes. No. <laughs> if you're done, I'm taking it from here. All right, take it away, sir. Okay. All right, well, uh, here, hold on, Bryce. Yep. Yes. Yes. What do you <laughs> Damn it, think go. about the weather? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the great room. Those jokers. There, there's some impractical jokers, even. Yeah, um, you know. Let's see. What, uh, there we go. We'll hang up on them. How did the call go? I'm going to say happy face. Thank you very much. Uh, hello. We got Corey here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Bryce. We're here. We're back here at the at the pre-show. Doing ahead of the uh, Red of the Show show. Uh, how, how's it going, Corey? You were gone last week. Uh, we yeah. missed you, but I'm glad you're back. Yeah, buddy. Happy to be here. Um, we've got we've got more of the, yes. the, the 2022 prediction game, and I believe the last things are team orders or driver top 10. First though, I've got to ask, it's very important to me. Yeah. Do we have any birthdays? Oh shit, yes, that's right. Very good. Hey, very good question because we do have some birthdays yeah, here to know. in the birthday Borner. Perfect question. We've got a few here. Uh, for example, uh, Nick DJM, AKA Vel Mathris, uh, his wife or their wife had a birthday on the 18th. Happy nice. birthday Happy to birthday. Miss Vel Mathris. Uh, we've also got uh, Briscoe. Briscoe's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Briscoe. Uh, they are looking forward to some apologizes for soon, which I think we can do. Uh, the Buck had a birthday two day, three days ago on the 22nd. Happy birthday, The Buck. Uh, Shane, Shane, Aros, uh, Sh Shane Ross, uh, uh, his daughter Vivian turned three last week. Wow. Nice. Three's, three's when you finally feel like you're starting to survive. Gosh, I remember Shane having that kid wow oh my goodness uh mild salsa had their birthday on the 19th happy birthday mild salsa and uh brain uh brain's mom's birthday was on sunday and they are both sick with covid brain and their mom sorry to hear that but uh hopefully you have a good uh a good uh birthday hopefully she has a good birthday all right well that's the birthday borner uh if you want to get some shouts outs go to discord.greatnight.tv and join and post in the birthday borner right. section so now i'm ready to listen what was that again about uh, questions so we can either do what do you think the order of the teams will be okay this season like that one or what do you think the top 10 drivers will be now nah, we got to save that one for last okay so let's um, do team order we'll do team order actually uh let me make sure chris didn't tell me to not do this one until after preseason oh. testing but i think i think i think it's fine yeah i think it's fine we can do it both maybe we can uh, maybe we can do a revision yeah uh, maybe maybe then actually might like, be uh do we want to have any swapsies any mulligans yeah uh well let's see uh do i have a do I have a pen? I don't know if I've got a pen. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's being recorded. It's being recorded. So, is it, oh, perfect. There we go. Thank you so much, Annalisa. All right, team top 10 here in some critical racing theory. Yes. So we're looking at the 2022 season. They have not even announced the new cars yet, technically. Yeah. They'll be showing them in the next couple of weeks. Yep. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna come up with our top 10 order of the teams next year. The combined teams uh let's start from the bottom okay because i think i think that's the most in i think that's the most pyramidic shape for this last on the grid it's gonna be hard not to say what we're about i don't think i don't think i am really i don't uh, well then i i i think it's gonna be Haas. i think that that i think that this gap is probably this gap year has been really tough for them and i think it's gonna be tough for them to take two rookies with a half of a season basically into a new even if the car is good yeah uh, my one caveat to that is, uh, you know, they, they came out super strong mm -hmm. right when they first came in to Formula One. True. So they have the ability. And the last basically two years, they've done nothing but work on the new car when all the other teams had to uh, update their current model cars right. in order they, to compete. Right. They have not. And so they've been dead last every race, basically, right. for the last two seasons. So I'm going to say they are in ninth place. Oh, okay. Well, then... Uh, uh, and so... Who do you think is going to take number 10? Because uh, looking at the rest of the list, I can see maybe maybe two teams. Sauber. Uh, Sauber. Uh, 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 was that uh, Aston Martin? 
No. What, uh, uh, Alpha Romeo. Um, Alpha Romeo Sauber. With Valtteri yes. and Guan Yu. Yeah. Oh, did I say <laughs> it's Alpha Romeo? Yeah. It used to be Sauber. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> That's cool. Funny. Uh, uh, interesting. Uh, wh uh, why? Or, or um, I guess uh, well, you have Guan Yu Zhao, who is a new yeah. name. Uh, and then Botas is not going to do well. In a slower in a car. car. Yeah. And, and I, don't, I don't feel like great about this position, but, mm -hmm. you know. I'm okay with that. I'm I am gonna have Alpha no. in eight. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I I think it's Williams in ninth. Yeah. I think I have. Uh, I don't know. I uh, I think that this could be an equalizing year, but I don't know that Williams is there. Yeah. But uh, that's 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 I don't know. Shuffling decks. Shuffling. Yeah, I don't like Williams a lot. You know what? Can I make a slight change already? Sure. Can I put Haas in eighth and Williams in? Ninth. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, all right, let's jump up to number seven. I feel like number seven. Ooh, now now this is tough because we're getting into the teams that have more potential. Yep. Um, this is where I would have put Aston Martin. Yep. But I think that they've there's been news of them getting personnel from the past few weeks that I think could help them. I think so. Get, was... get back to that racing point performance so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say seven is gonna and, be and alpine they have basically unlimited money to spend yeah well i mean they have limited but, money because they have they have spending caps but they have, they have a billionaire <laughs> chairman yes that uh <laughs> will write those checks yeah so I'm, I'm gonna say seven is alpine formerly renault yep um even though i think that they have shown that they are a competitive team but there are so many high level teams that even alpine being okay is number seven for I'm me gonna go ahead and put I think I'm going to swap what I think you're going to do. Okay. I'm going to do uh, um, Aston Martin on seven? seventh. Wow. And Alpine in sixth. Okay. And you know what? You're right, because I think six is where I have to put Aston Martin. Yeah, I figured you'd have to go there. Um, because there's, I mean, that's the gap. That's There's like a brick wall between five and six, I think, for the rest of the teams. All right, so this is where it's getting tough. We're half the teams down. We still got Mercedes left, Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, and Alpha Tauri. Uh, Alpha Tauri's got to go fifth for me. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, you, you, is that because of the uh, still freshness, uh, the greenness of one Yuki Sonoda? Or? Uh, yes, and also just they will never do as good as Red Bull because they will be forced to not do as good as Red Bull. So that automatically puts them at least one position down, mm. right? And, um, yeah, I just don't think they get they're, – they're, even though they're trying to act like they're, they're a separate team, they're not. They're a junior team. Therefore, they do not have the uh, spending capabilities mm. of the big team. Okay, big yeah. kind of keeps them right where they are. They kind of like them right where they are, I think. All right, so interesting. I, I think they're going to stay right around that right around fifth, five, sixth place. I think – Gosh, I I want to put Alpha Tauri higher because I th I think I I think the development of the Red Bull powertrains and the Honda stuff yep. is gonna bleed over to them in a very good way. But yep. um, but Sonoda, I know, I know, he's gonna, he's gonna wreck uh, as many races as he wins. I know, and I'm looking for any other options here. Um, God, I. I, I all right, I'm gonna do this. My I'm put Alpha Tari in four, and I'm gonna say that they do better than Scuderia Ferrari. Okay. In fifth, so that's Alpha yeah, Tari in fourth, Ferrari in fifth. For a lot. On so, yeah. Uh, so you got four more left. You're looking for yeah. number four here. Uh, number four, we are going to put. Um, so we got Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, and Red Bull. Uh, McLaren. McLaren in four? Yeah. yeah. McLaren in four. Um, the, they're going to be solid. They're probably going to win a couple races. Yeah. I I am optimistically putting them at three. Yep. Because uh, I'm a, I, I've got a hat. I'm a hat. I'm in the hat community. My NFT of a hat. Yep. me in the, in the $100 hat community. Yep. But I, I think... So. Um, that's, this is more an optimistic. <laughs> I <Yeah>. like. <laughs> yeah. But but it's certainly possible. It's well within the uh, realistic. With um, with the regulations, hopefully equalizing out. I think that there's there's an op there's opportunity there. This one's gonna this one's gonna shock you. Okay, number three. This, this next three are gonna shock you. I don't think that they will. I wonder. I don't know. All right. Okay. Uh, number three is Mercedes. Okay. Wow. Not even number two. 
Is that uh, the the George Russell effect? You believe bringing them down another place? To no, start? I think uh, I think they spent so much time and money and effort trying to win this last championship, and also mm. uh, it's a distraction. You things change in all these all these uh, big engine and modification changes. Mm -hmm. There's always shakeup. There's never been like, oh well, those those two top teams are easily the top two now. Right. As I have never seen it. So I kind of have to pick a loser, and that's kind of Mercedes right now. Is just they're going to take a step back. They're going to win a ton of races, mm -hmm. and I, and once again, I don't feel extremely strong about these opinions. Yeah, um, and, and it's and it's tough because we're we're not even into the new season yet. We're not even into preseason testing, yeah. and um and so it makes it hard to not look at the 2021 uh uh standings and go, it's probably going to be like this because there's so many unknowns mm -hmm. this next year. Um, okay, we're down to the last two. Um, uh, I've still I've still got Mercedes and Red Bull as my one and two. You've got Red Bull and who else is up here? Ferrari. Oh, you've still got Ferrari in your one and two. Mm -hmm. I uh, mm, I think I think uh, ah, man, this is tough. I I, I like I, I I think it's so cool the idea of Red Bull. Uh, powertrain set it. Yep. They're them taking over some of the stuff from Honda and some of the Honda staff and building that own thing. Adrian Newey, one of the best aerodynamicists, is there working for Red Bull? Yeah, I I I, th I think it's up. gonna be yeah. I I I am gonna put Red Bull one, Mercedes two because a it's a there's a there's a matter of hunger. Yep. There's you're just like not gonna be able to beat the, <laughs> the hunger that Red Bull has over Mercedes. Um. And I think you're right to a, to a degree that Mercedes spent so much time on 2021 yeah. that they're gonna have a hard time feeling like they fully actualized 2022. I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm shooting for the fences. So this is me pointing, this is baby Ooh. pointing at the fence. Yeah. I'm going out there to just, just either lose terribly with this or yeah. destroy you <laughs> at points. Okay. Uh, Ferrari number one. Okay. I, I totally, yeah. I. Bull number two. And then Red Bull two, yeah. I, and you know what? Like, I think that's equally likely. Yeah, it, it's obviously going up it, or going down. Campbell, obviously, probably the safer choice is going to be Red Bull or Mercedes. But. Yeah, but uh, very cool. Well, that's our team order. Thank you, Corey, for joining me for some Goodbye. critical racing theory. We're going to get our last uh, checks in here on the Great Night pre-show. Major Tom letting us know. Uh, he's into the Leclerc signs, the dynamic duo, the smooth operator. Ah, oh, yes. Um, well, thank you everybody for joining us here in the, oh my goodness. Oh, that's a very sneaky thing to do. Okay. I'm not going to, okay. That's, I, I looked at my email and I shouldn't have done that. Um, hello everybody. <laughs> no, well, I, uh, uh, you know what? Tifa? Is it Tifa or Tifa? Is <laughs> this, is, is if, <laughs> uh, it was a website and there was a naked person in that Damn. email. Oops. Damn. <laughs> I know, right? I bet somebody could uh, freeze frame that shit and then enhance and see the reflection in your eyeball. <laughs> yeah, if you can, if you, I see you, if you could do that, I will Please give you enhance 100 it and give them a big hug. <laughs> All right, we are going to take one last look at all of the things and make sure everybody is settled in and, and good to go. Uh, let's see here. Annalisa, you good? Good. Uh, let's see. Jeff, you good? Good. Okay. Uh, Justin? And Brian? And Brett? Hello, friend. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. Hello. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the Green Room Great Room pre-show thing. We are going to turn around and do the show show. So uh, stay tuned, stick around, don't change the bat channel, and Brett, I'm going to count you in.